You know, people debate and, and discuss drowning cables versus drowning rods, and, and really, just like so many other things in trapping, it boils down to personal preference. I've used both drowning cables and drowning rods, and I've come to be pretty fond of the rods just because they're, they're pretty easy, pretty easy to handle. You don't have to lug a big weight around. I like cables. I, I started out using cables and, and, and enjoy using cables. The only issue that I have found with cables is occasionally if your if you're weight and, you know, first off, you've got to have something to anchor your, your deep end. So typically I've always used cinder blocks, which cables don't take up much room, but the cinder blocks do. So if you've got a dozen cables, you've got to have a dozen cinder blocks. If you're in a, a location where you can pre set your box ahead of on your locations ahead of time or you've got rocks or something like that that's pretty easy to tie off to and use that's great but it just it just seemed, it's got to be a hassle for me and then I also found that you know on occasion I had a beaver that would get caught and would drag the block up and so then your cable gets all kinked up and your drowning cable is basically shot um, so I, I kind of got a little bit shy of that. I started using these rods and had a really good success with them, a lot of luck with them. Um, you know, you just shove them in the ground. They'll come up sometimes too, but the, the beaver still, you got him anchored off on the other end. Your rod's not going to kink up and bend up as bad, so you'll be able to reuse it. And you don't have to worry with the, you don't have to worry with the weights. So, you know, it, they're a little longer, but it's a little bit easier to handle and carry in places or if you got a canoe in or something like that. You know, it, it definitely takes up a little less room, and you just got to get used to the, the cumbersomeness of them. My drowning rod setup is, is I make all my own rods, and I just get a, a 10 foot or something. Most of the time, you have to get 20 foot sections of half inch rebar, cut them in half, and then you can buy these locks, and they're just little pieces of tubing, little square locks. They slide on the rebar, and they've got a, a little L shaped thing coming off of them, so it slides down, but when the trap moves up, it locks into place. Get you some of those locks and then uh, get you a couple of fender washers weld one fender washer to the top where you can run a rebar stake through it on the bottom of the rod I like to leave 10 to 12 inches put my fender washer on and then uh, put a half inch or a 5 8 inch nut slide it on there it usually fits pretty tight then I weld them on pl in place as well just to make sure it holds good that gives you some room to shove that down in the mud and, and not mess with your not mess with your stopper or worry about breaking any of these loose. Really like drowning rods. Drowning cables are pretty pretty simple. You got a loop on both ends. If you don't have a if you don't have a a clasp or a quick link or anything on your weight, it helps if you got an adjustable deep end. That way you can adjust the loop, thread it through thread it through a hole in your center block or around your weights and then put the top through and lock it in place. Then all there is is an L-shaped slide lock that goes down freely, but when pulled up, it locks in place. Real simple, um, but extremely effective. Like I said, the only issue with these is it's eighth inch cable, but if a beaver does pull your weight up, it's gonna keep even that eight inch cable and that cable is gonna be shot. 